Welcome back to Kelly Party of Two. Yes, it's just me tonight. If you'll remember, Chris is on a hunting trip um, with our son Clay. So tonight, I thought I would share some family recipes, sort of. So you know how much I love cinnamon. Um, not to beat a dead horse there, but Kathy on Two Cent Chicks, as you all know, is my cousin. She did a video a while back of homemade cinnamon rolls, and it's a pretty simple uh, recipe as far as homemade goes. There is some dry yeast involved, but there's a lot of rolling and things like that. I do use that recipe often at um, Christmas time, but for a quick fix cinnamon roll and something a little different, I've got three recipes for you tonight or three different ideas to do with the Grand's Pillsbury cinnamon rolls um, that you can just buy at your grocery store. So the first one we're gonna talk about is a chocolate chip cookie cinnamon roll. Um, so basically what we did is we bought the Pillsbury Grand's cinnamon rolls and we bought, bought the Pillsbury uh, log chocolate chip cookie dough. So what we did is we rolled, we put some flour down and we rolled out that cookie dough. Now you'll want it to sit out for a bit um, so that it'll soften and make it a little bit easier for you to roll that out with a rolling pin. Once you've got it rolled out, pretty much the length of the cinnamon roll that you would, that you're gonna end up unrolling most of the way. Um, so you want it somewhat that length um, and you don't want it too thick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll that out and I just kind of took a pizza cutter and cut strips that I could then somewhat pick up <laughs> in one piece and lay it out on the um, cinnamon roll once I had rolled it out. You roll that back up and then you put it in your pan. Now, we did two um, of the five roll packs um, for each of these that I'm gonna mention, um, except for the last one. So we had a housewarming for Brooke and Austin, which was kind of a combination for a bunch of August birthdays. So um, we made 10 of the cinnamon rolls with the chocolate chip cookie dough, and then we made 10 of the next one that I'm gonna talk about. But just so you remember, our other TikTok cinnamon roll video, we talked about using that heavy cream. Now this time I did actually use heavy cream with sweetened uh, condensed milk. Um, I didn't really see a difference in it, so just stick with your heavy cream, that's what you wanna use. Now, I will say that a lot of these videos out there are using um, a lot of heavy cream. Honestly, I think just a little bit more than covering the bottom, and of course you can hit the top of those rolls as well with the heavy cream, and it just kind of gives the whole roll that gooey center uh, taste. So these chocolate chip cookie um, cinnamon rolls uh, went over pretty well. Um, myself, I just thought, you know, there just wasn't enough of a cookie, chocolate chip cookie flavor. Um, really what you were getting was the cinnamon roll. So I just, I guess the, the cookie dough just wasn't flavorful enough or maybe enough. Um, I'll probably play around with that recipe a little bit to see if we can, we can uh, tweak it a little bit. But that's the first one. Now, the second one, interestingly enough, um, Brooke's boyfriend, Austin, and my son, Cameron's girlfriend, Jaden, both sent me a Oreo TikTok, or Oreo cinnamon roll TikTok video. Now, the video that they sent me um, was basically where you roll out the dough. Uh, it's more of a homemade version. And we were in a time crunch. So what I did is I continued to use the five count cinnamon roll. And again, if you remember, Pillsbury has the eight count, but it actually has like um, pieces of cinnamon on top. It doesn't actually unroll. You wanna get the ones that are the grands that unroll for, for all of these recipes for the most part. So what we did on this one is we got a pack of Oreos and we pulverized those bad boys. Now we did take the cream out of the majority of them. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you just want to make sure you have uh, less of the cream and more of the cookie because it doesn't pulverize as much and it kind of clumps up on you. So what we did is we took that entire pack with a little bit set to the side to crumble on top. Um, but we took that Oreo, the Oreo and we um, pulsed it in our um, food processor and basically just made a fine dust really. And we mixed that with melted butter. Now what that does is it creates a paste. And what you're gonna do with that paste is the same thing that you did with that cookie dough. You're gonna unroll each of your uh, cinnamon rolls and you're going to 
for lack of a better word, I guess just kind of smear <laughs> that Oreo paste inside that roll, roll it back up and put it in your pan. Now again, we did this 10 times. I did have some of the Oreo uh, paste um, left over and kind of just, you'll see in the video, kind of put it on top. Didn't want to waste it, you know? Um, Oreos are good, can't waste those. So the next thing we did after we baked them is we again did the heavy cream. Now I do this with all of the cinnamon rolls from here on out just because it basically the rest of the family likes it that way and um, it does make it uh, ooier and gooier I guess you could say. So um, these were a huge huge hit. Um, I heard things like best cinnamon rolls they'd ever had and I will tell you I am not a huge eat a bag of Oreos fan at all. Um, I know Kathy at Two Cent Chicks has a lot of Oreo videos and all their new flavors. Um, I'm just not one to sit down and eat a ba uh, bag of Oreos. Um, so that said, I thought these were phenomenal. These were really, really good. I did use on both the um, chocolate chip cookie cinnamon rolls and the Oreo cinnamon rolls, I used um, my buttercream icing recipe. I did mix in the icing that came with the cinnamon rolls. It didn't really change the taste. I just didn't want to waste it. So I did mix that and I will put on the screen um, my buttercream frosting recipe um, that I use for these. Now, the third one is one that I kind of mm, labor of love messed with a little bit. I'm a huge pineapple upside down cake fan. Um, I grew up on this. My mom made it all the time and it's just one of those things that I really, really enjoy. Now, I for one do not use the whole pineapple rings. I don't, um, I think it looks pretty. Um, but I want that little bit of pineapple flavor in every bite. So what I usually use um, when I do a cake is crushed pineapple, but I wasn't really sure how that would work with this. So what I did is I used a uh, jumbo muffin pan. I placed a pat of butter in each of five of the six cups because the Grand's Pillsbury rolls only come in a five count. Um, and I just put a little bit of water in the um, remaining six cup just so it wouldn't burn. Um, but I put a pat of butter, um, didn't really measure it, just kind of knifed it off and stuck it in the, in the bottom. Then I packed in the brown sugar and then I put on the, I used pineapple tidbits um, this time around. Just because they were smaller and I thought that they would, um, it's really hard, I guess, when you use crushed pineapple to drain it as well. So I really wanted to use the tidbits this time to see how it would work. I might try it with the crushed pineapple next time. Now, the next step is you open those Grand's Pillsbury cinnamon rolls and just put them in the muffin pan. You might want to push them down a little bit because they will rise up out of there just like a muffin would. Um, and once you um, do the upside down portion <laughs> of this recipe, you want to make sure that it's a little bit flat so that, you know, all your toppings don't slide off. So, these were really good. Um, I tried one. Uh, I, I wish I had used maybe a little bit more butter in the bottom or melted the butter first. Um, or maybe even melted the butter and put mixed it with the brown sugar. I prefer just that that crisp, that crispness of a pineapple upside down cake with that butter and brown sugar. So I would probably tweak it a little bit if I did it again, um, but I thought it was a huge success. Um, I tried this for the birthday party or the birthday slash housewarming party, um, but I used a pan. And what happened in that scenario, because we did use the heavy cream, there wasn't a whole lot of dumping that upside down. We just kind of scooped out the cinnamon rolls. Um, there was just too much of a liquid mess to uh, do the upside down part. But they did taste really well, uh, really good. So um, I do recommend that recipe as well. Um, let us know what your variations uh, in your family are for cinnamon rolls or if you just stick with the traditional. There's nothing wrong with that. Please like, subscribe, and hopefully Chris will be back soon from his hunting trip, um, a successful hunting trip. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.